Today I will be showing how the road network of YGJ City is made. So for current and future builders, this will be pretty important. So before I start building, here's a design of the YGJ City road system. Number 1. Driving direction. All cars drive on the left. Number 2. The width of the road. 3 meters. Number 3. The road material. Roads can be made of black concrete, grey concrete, bricks, nether bricks and all the slabs of the listed materials. Of course you may use other materials but uh, you need to consult the admins first. Number 4. Lane markers. There are several categories for this one so let's go through one by one. For a single one lane road, have two solid white lines on the sides. For a two lane one way road, solid lines on the sides and white strips on the center. Though there are no strict rules regarding the spacing of the lane strips, the center is 2 meters of markers followed by 4 meters of road. For a two lane two directional road, it is also the same thing. For exits, whether paved or off road, make dotted white lines along the solid line at the side of the road. When making an intersection, there must be a solid line of at least 6 meters before the horizontal line that stretches across the road. Also, if you are putting pedestrian crossings, remember to add the dotted lines or zebra strips. For the junction, you may add slip lanes too. In that case, remember to put the dotted lines or zebra strips too, otherwise known as a zebra crossing. So, with that, here I am building a new road. As you can see, I'm using black concrete for the road. I feel that black concrete is perfect as it gives a clean look to the roads. Along with that, I use white concrete for the lane markings. This version of the road is called an avenue. There is a small divider in the center. Then the road curves here. And every road builder knows this is the most annoying part when building roads because Minecraft is made out of blocks. So by right, I'm supposed to use math to make the road curve accurately. But I just rely on the look of the road all the time and adjust the road when I feel that it doesn't look right. Anyway, here's an actual correct curve guide if you want to take a look. Over here, I'm making a small road and as you can see here, this is a bi-directional road and there's white strips along the center. curves and crosses the lake loop 9, so I decided to make a level crossing, which is the first ever one in YGG City. And it turned out pretty good. And here's what it looks like and sounds like after installing the system. Now the only problem is, the barriers race too fast, so your car might flip over. <laughs> but since we don't have any cars yet, or ever, there is nothing to worry about. Alright that's the end of the video, goodbye! Stay tuned and be sure to watch our other videos too!